Joining us now on the program is Andy Gutman. He is an author at Gut Check Publishing and recently had quite the partnership with Brilliant Detroit that led to the inspiration for his new book. Andy, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thanks so much for having me here today. Appreciate having you on. So your new book is called Life Lessons from Brilliant Detroit. Tell us first about this book. What, you know, what, uh, uh, what story this is telling and what life lessons it's providing to the public and then uh, a little bit of what inspired this project to come together. Yeah, thanks for asking. Uh, you know, the book really, um, it, it's, uh, I like to think of it as a book done by the kids. Uh, all of the children get author credits on this and uh, it really came about uh, because uh, in a prior book I wrote called Be Kind, uh, I donated some of the profits to this nonprofit organization and just loved what they did. The more I got to know their CEO, uh, Cindy Eagleton, who's one of the kindest uh, people I know, uh, the more I wanted to work with her and be a part of all the great things that she and Brilliant Detroit do for the city of Detroit and all the kids and families they help. Uh, so um, having done that, I asked Cindy if we could uh, work with the kids, and so I brought out my my team to come every Saturday to one of their houses in Detroit, and uh, it was in the height of COVID, so we're all masked up, and uh, all the kids would sit at picnic tables, and we would talk about what lessons uh, they learned, um, what was important to know in life, like uh, what does being kind mean to you, um, what are your big dreams that you have in life, um, what makes you special and unique? And so they would draw out what their perspective was on that. Uh, and it turned into a great book that uh, we can share with everyone else. And these young people ages uh, anywhere from two to eight are now authors uh, that are published and it's very exciting for them and for all of us. Yeah, it's such a great story too because so often we think about the relationship between adults and children being the adults are giving all the life lessons to kids and there's so much that we can also learn as adults from children of all different ages and through those interactions with these individuals and so for you as an author of course you're a storyteller you can you have a, a keen ability to find the story and a little bit of everything that goes on in our in our lives and all different facets but when then really this relationship between you and uh, those that brilliant Detroit turn into uh, turn into something that you thought, you know what, I'm learning so much from these kids and so much from this organization. I want to turn this into something that other people can also learn from. Yeah, there was, there was something really great just from day one of getting together with the kids and the staff that work out there. Uh, just th there's a, a purity to the thought process of children and something really special about the lessons they can teach you. Their perspective on life comes from such a good, wholesome place that it, it really is amazing. So from you know the first session we had, I, I was really excited to be a part of uh, helping them become authors, but more than that, helping other kids to realize that they too can achieve any dream they really want to. Um, so it was, it was just a, an exciting first day, something really nice about uh, the homes that Brilliant Detroit provides uh, and the atmosphere in which kids can not only grow, but be prepared as they as they get ready for kindergarten. More information on the book can be found at gutcheckbooks.com. And you can also there purchase Life Lessons from Brilliant Detroit for $9.50. Uh, proceeds from this book are being donated uh, to Brilliant Detroit as well. And, and so as you're putting this this book together, of course, you, you wanted to bring some of those lessons you've learned from the kids and of course, bring some good press to Brilliant Detroit and the and excellent work that they're doing uh, in, in the city of Detroit and, and supporting these kids in so many different ways. But why was it important for you as an, as an author to not only publish this book in partnership with these kids, but also make sure that this book and all the pro and the proceeds that were going from the sales of these books go right back into that organization so they can do even more of this great work? Yeah, the, the organization just does amazing work. And you know, I have a I have a day job. Uh, you know, I work uh, for an amazing commercial real estate company called the Farbman Group, and I I earn a living from that, and I, I love being a part of it. But you know, my books were inspired originally by my daughter, and, and that's how I started being an author. I uh, was putting together books so she would have a legacy, and so to me, they're a way for me to give back to the community, 
And I really uh, just fell in love with the Brilliant Detroit organization. So I thought if I'm going to do something to help the community, this is one amazing organization that, that I just want to see continue to succeed. Again, more information on Andy and his books can be found at gutcheckbooks.com. Gutcheckbooks.com. We can also get a, a, a copy of Life, Life Lessons from Brilliant Detroit as well, where the proceeds will go right back to Brilliant Detroit. You can also learn more about the organization by visiting their website at brilliantdetroit.org. Brilliantdetroit.org for more information. We've also had Cindy Eggleton on from uh, this program from Brilliant Detroit, civiccentertv.com slash megacast. Uh, or go to our on-demand page at civiccentertv.com. Just search for Brilliant Detroit to find find that and learn even more about some of the work that they're doing each and every day and, and some projects they have planned as well. Or civiccentertv.com slash megacast. For that, we're joined by Andy Gutman, uh, who is the author. Sorry, okay, we're joined by yeah, Andy Gutman, who is the author of Life Lessons from Brilliant Detroit. And this is your sixth book. But it's, uh, it's really the first one that's kind of like this, where your previous books have really been more traditional children's books. So uh, tell us about that change in your methods from your past five books and you know, how that's further inspired you for stories of your future. Yeah, the books really all start from uh, songs that I wrote, and um, every one of them really starts that way. And it, it's an amazing thing because... When I tell people you can really accomplish anything in the world, you can. And I'm a guy who I can't sing, or at least I shouldn't. I can't play any musical instruments, but I, I write lyrics to songs and I bring singers and uh, producers together to put them together. And so that's usually how my books start is as a song. In this case, it was a little different. We do have a couple of songs on the website uh, for Brilliant Detroit. Uh, but uh, this was a different process, and I really like to think of it instead of as my sixth book, I think of it as the kid's first book. That, to me, is uh, an even better answer. And you mentioned, too, that you that uh, your, your writing really came from your love of music. You also produced song accompaniments for each of your books. Uh, and, and so uh, tell us about those accompaniments, how they complement these books, and uh, any plans for a musical accomp accompaniment to go along with life lessons from Brilliant Detroit. Yes, absolutely. So, like I said, most of my books do start as as songs. In this case, it was reversed. I, I, but there are two songs uh, that are out there. Um, there's uh, they're both called Brilliant, and one is in Spanish, one is in English, uh, because you know the uh, the home that I work with these kids, many of them their primary language was Spanish, uh, or at least a really strong secondary language. So. I wanted to make sure we had the book and the uh, and the music in both languages, uh, but the kids inspired some really what I think is really fun and entertaining music that they can sing along to and dance with uh, while they enjoy the activities in the book and reading the book. We're joined by Andy Gutman on today's edition of the MegaCast, author at Gut Check Publishing, and of course the author of Life Lessons from Brilliant Detroit. You can purchase the book for nine dollars and fifty cents on Amazon, as well as at gutcheckbooks.com. Proceeds go right back to Brilliant Detroit, which you can also learn more about, get involved, and of course donate to this nonprofit organization at brilliantdetroit.org. That is brilliantdetroit.org for more information on the organization that was the inspiration behind life lessons from Brilliant Detroit. And of course, we don't wanna to give too much away. We want people to read the book and, and gain all those life lessons themselves. But Andy, what are, give us an example of one of your favorite life lessons that's included in this book or maybe wasn't included in this book that really inspired you from your time interacting with these kids and uh, with Brilliant Detroit. Yeah, what, you know, one of the things that, that uh, the lessons that we teach in the book is to dream big. And uh, that's one of my favorite things in life is you know, you can accomplish anything you really set your mind to. There's there's no limitations to what any of us can do. And that's that's one of my favorite lessons. I love uh, listening to the kids and, and uh, looking at their drawings that talked about what they were dreaming about being when they grow up. And of course, now they're all, uh, they have that addition to their resume. They're all accomplished authors. Uh, so I can't wait to see what they do next. More information, again, can be found on BrilliantDetroit.org or by visiting Andy's website, GutCheckBooks.com, where you can learn more about each of his six books now, including Life Lessons, 
from Brilliant Detroit and purchase the book for nine fifty on his website too, with the proceeds going right back to Brilliant Detroit. Andy, anything else we should know at this time that we haven't discussed about life lessons from Brilliant Detroit? The one other thing I would tell you is that these books are also available on Amazon.com, so feel free to get them there as well. Um, they get a little more traffic than my website, but I love the, the fact that they're available in multiple ways. Multiple ways to learn a lot of lessons from some uh, pretty impressive kids and a great organization in Brilliant Detroit. Andy, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much for having me.